James, thank you. Dozens of towns across New Jersey are getting state funding to help them renovate or build public libraries. It's part of a $45 million grant program. And under the program, 68 public libraries are receiving funding. The state librarian announced the program at this library in Bergenfield. It's the largest effort in the state's history, one that people say is really needed. Well, this was a wonderful opportunity for libraries to, to be able to um, create space that was sufficient to meet their needs. Some of the projects are already underway. Others will start later this year. All right. Think about this, folks. Do you think your marriage is heading for divorce? You know, there is help out there to avoid that. There are places to get advice on trying to make a marriage work and advice on how to make a divorce easier if it comes to that. Susan Allen is the author of 101 Divorce Survival Secrets. And so we want to figure out how to save a marriage today. And how do you know you can save it or you're headed for divorce? There are three things to look for. What we've identified as the seven stages of love. The seventh stage, where you're really in that wonderful merging state, is unselfconsciousness. But what people don't realize is the sixth stage, just before you get there, is vulnerability. So if they don't know that vulnerability is just right at the threshold of that perfect relationship, that's when a lot of people panic and run. That's when they get into affairs. That's when they think of getting a divorce. So knowing that, vulnerability is going to be part of a wonderful relationship is key. What, yes. At what stage in a marriage do we hit that? We hear about the seven-year itch. Yes. When, at what stage can we expect that to happen in a marriage? You know, for some people, it's five minutes before they say, I do. And for some people, it's six <laughs> years later. Yeah. It's all a question of how much vulnerability you're used to. Now, another very important component is, is your marriage based on unconditional love? Or did you marry him because you looked for a good provider? Did you marry her because she's beautiful? Because if you married for those kinds of needs, you've got a problem. And I work with a lot of mm. couples on finding the love beneath those uh, oh, so goals. It's, it's, so you can get there? Yeah, sure, because in fact, you didn't pick three million other people, you picked that spouse mm -hmm. to meet the need for a great father for your children, a loving partner, etc. So there's always that love there or a belief that there is. And there's yes. another step that we can look at too beyond that, right? Yes. There's also the different languages that we speak based on Ned Herman's brain dominance, understanding of the four brain lobes and that each of us has a different thinking style and a different speaking style. So if you're a logical analyzer, which and most men are. I don't want to paint so a many. broad brush, yeah. but, but that inherently we're going to be different from the very beginning. Yes, it's All absolutely right. so true. So if you're logical as opposed to... If you're a logical analyzer or, if, or, which is slightly different, if you're sequential, kind of like a librarian or a bookkeeper, mm -hmm. or if you're interpersonal, which is sales, or if you're holistic and visionary, you have a tendency to think in a totally different way. But isn't this also a lot about in a practical sense, knowing how not to really get on each other's nerves. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, if you want to save a marriage, just don't hawk me off. You know what I mean? <laughs> really. It's, it's That's <laughs> true. And I also teach, and it's funny that you mention this, because my favorite of all the techniques that I teach, my favorite is nonviolent communication. And I teach self-empathy and empathy. So that instead of a spouse saying, you do this to me, right. what I teach them is to understand that they're feeling angry, because whatever need it is, isn't being met. It could be a need for support. It could be a need for peace. All right. And Susan. I also find after a certain age, everyone's number one need becomes peace. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm there already. Thank you, you very you. much, Susan. Two preteens, I know what you're talking about. Susan Allen, your ebook is called 101 Divorce Survival Secrets, divorceforum.com. We thank you so very much. Of course, you can always go to news12.com and we'll link you right up. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, with 64% of marriages ending in divorce, this is good advice. We'll be right back cooking in the kitchen.